right now with me, I have the top girl in the Barbados Secondary School's entrance examination, Renelle Bess, uh, student of the St. Gabriel's School, who scored 100 in math, 100 in English, and A in composition, a total score of 242.91. And with her, her parents, and we're logging in virtually, we're speaking virtually because they're not in Barbados. Uh, so Renelle, top girl, tell me, how do you feel? Um, I am just very happy and thankful for all my parents' support and my teachers' support. I'm just very overwhelmed, but I'm overall just very, very happy when I heard the news. Okay. And where did you hear the news? Where were you when you got the news? When I got the news, my mother had missed a phone call from my teacher. Mm -hmm. So my teacher then called my father and my father told us what happened and I was, I don't know, I went wild, I was screaming. I just, I, was, I, could, I can't explain in words how I felt. We were all very excited and screaming. <laughs> now, mom and dad, uh, tell me, how did you guys feel when you got the news that your daughter was the top girl in the 11th class? Actually called at the house where I was sitting waiting for the phone call from the school. Um, the teacher seemed very, very excited to give us the news. But of course they asked for Renelle and her mom, but I, I didn't know they're not here right now. Um, so, you know, she told me, I myself was a little uncontrollable, right? Uh, as soon as we came, I came off the phone with her, I called, I called them in Trinidad and um, I gave them the good news. And as Rena said, she was uncontrollable for a very long while, right? Um, they wanted to know if it was a hoax. I told them, you know, make jokes about things like that, you know? And yeah, all in all, it was good. It was very good. Now, what was it like preparing for the exam right now? Um, when I prepared for the exam, It was it was like a challenge due to um COVID, but my parents did help me through it. I did have to cut out TV and all those things, but I it wasn't much of a uh, change. Mm. I did have to do the past papers and I did have to do the extra reading, but. Mm. I did it because I knew what was going to happen if I did. Okay. Now, were you nervous ahead of the exam? About the week before the exam, mm -hmm. I wasn't nervous. But the day before, I was extremely nervous. I began to feel sick. And I just went to sleep with a headache. But mm -hmm. I woke up in a different mindset and I was ready for the exam. Now, you'll be going to Queen's College. Uh, why Queen's College? When I was very young, I just saw that school and I saw what great things came out of it. And I said, mm -hmm. I want to be the next great thing to come out of that school. I want to go to that school. And I just had my eyes on that goal for that very long time. I knew she would do well because she has, she's been working very hard, as she said. She has been doing the practice, even when they were doing mock exams in school. She was consistently performing well. Um, top 90s, even sometimes hundreds. So it wasn't a big surprise. I mean, we when waiting on the news, we just we were just sort of anxious, but it wasn't a big surprise because we knew she was going to do well. We just didn't know it was going to be a hundred and a hundred. She and I and her mom, we had a a, a regime of work that we would do with her over the last year. And when it came to the past papers. Um, when we realized that she was scoring like maybe a hundred this week on maths and ninety something in English and vice versa the next week, we um I made a deal with her and I said, well, why you don't bring home two hundred, right? Up to the last past paper, she did, she did like a hundred and one and ninety eight in the other, and I said to her, well, this is your opportunity here now, on the daily common entrance to bring in two hundred, and. She went in, she performed, and that's what she did. And I'm very proud of her.